Good morning, everyone. My name is Eugene Heitzer, Senior Sales Engineer with Comcast Business. Um, Tom Lazan is your Enterprise Account Manager uh, with Comcast Business for Entree. And uh, we are both here to help you any way we can. Um, we are account managers. I'm getting notes here. <laughs> yes, I, I've, uh, I'm getting uh, pinged here by my team because they haven't made it in yet. But anyhow, I uh, want to get started. Uh, Tom and I are here to help you with any questions. Uh, welcome to TechX 2020. Uh, I'm going to cover preventing volumetric attacks with DDoS mitigation, and the advantages of connecting directly to AWS and Microsoft Azure. So let's get going. Um, just to let you know, um, October of this year is the uh, actually the 17th um, Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Uh, our U.S. Department of Home and Homeland Security uh, started Cybersecurity uh, Awareness Month, and this is to help, of course, make people aware and also uh, make people aware of the tools that are available to uh, have a better uh, response for cybersecurity and be able to safely uh, use applications, uh, uh, use the internet, etc. So there's lots and lots of events going on in October. Uh, Comcast has a few webinars available. If you want to touch base with us following the presentation, we'd be happy to let you know about those uh, webinars. And um, you can look up Cybersecurity Month online, and I'm sure you'll find lots of uh, information and events that are going on during October. And so I just want to cover that real quick. So preventing volumetric attacks. Um, Comcast services called DDoS mitigation. Um, I mean, here's a good question. I mean, this is an incredible number. Um, we had a single customer that was attacked 700 times within a 24 hour period. That's an incredible amount of attacks. Um, can your network handle that kind of attack? Um, you know, and attacks are getting bigger and bigger. Um, a 4.8 terabyte attack <laughs> was launched at an educator recently. Um, I heard uh, Amazon uh, recently had a attack that was 2.3 terabytes per second over a period of three days. Uh, and of course, Amazon uh, has good security and uh, mitigation, so they took care of that attack, no problem. But, and here's good info, 85% um, of attacks are toward the education sector. Um, that uh, was huge this year. Uh, a lot of kids didn't want to go back to school uh, for obvious reasons. But, um, so here's a little summary from our August um, mitigation via our DDoS uh, product, DDoS mitigation product. This is uh, just crazy. Um, you know, attacks in August were up almost a thousand percent versus the month of July, uh, and our number of attacks mitigated uh, up seven hundred eighty-six percent versus July. And uh, our largest mitigation, uh, two gig per second, uh, in August. So lots of good information here. Our longest attack, uh, one day in duration. We dropped 29, almost 30 uh, gigabytes of traffic, which was actually down. Um, we did uh, pass a, a large amount, you know, six times versus July, we passed uh, six times more clean traffic through to our customers. 
And this is very interesting. Um, the volume of the largest attack actually up 20, 20 times greater size of attacks in July, in August versus July. Uh, that's an incredible number. Um, you know, and what that tells me is there's just more and more devices out there that uh, attackers are uh, using uh, to hijack devices and send biometric attacks at our customers at larger and larger volumes. Moving on. Uh, and the Comcast network uh, is not immune to DDoS attacks. Uh, we probably a lot of your uh, uh, ISPs and providers, um, they're really getting hit hard uh, day in and day out by volumetric attacks, uh, cyber criminal, criminals that they just want to disrupt services uh, you know, for political reasons or uh, various reasons. Their, their main goal is to disrupt uh, you know, businesses. Uh, so these are some amazing numbers. Um, we processed 50,000 alerts on our own network and mitigated 33,000 attacks just in August of 2020. I love this, this uh, you know, note here. We dropped 3.31 pentabytes of malicious traffic in August. And our largest, uh, longest attack was five days. So you can see this is uh, this is a uh, very real threat to business. Okay. So we use the same DDoS mitigation service on our own network uh, that we provide to our customers. Um, three types of uh, DDoS attacks. So volumetric and flood attacks, um, UDP floods. Many times um, you know, DDoS is uh, ICMP pings where the attacker will infect um, Internet of Things devices and send multiple pings toward a IP target. And just quickly checking <laughs> the chat here, make sure everything's going okay. Very good. Hope everybody can hear me. Uh, state exhaustion attacks. Uh, this is where a attacker will try to just connect, 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 make multiple connections to a service until that uh, connection can no longer handle any more requests, so exhausting the state of that uh, device or, or service that um, people want to get to. Uh, and application layer attacks, so uh, DNS attacks, uh, HTTP attacks, all uh, exploit vulnerabilities in the uh, application itself. So Comcast uh, DDoS mitigation service detects and mitigates against volumetric and flood attacks. Okay, moving on. Let's see how my time is. I'm running short on time. Um, the risk, uh, huge reputational harm. Um, if people can't reach your site, uh, you know how quickly uh, a uh, customer could move to a, uh, another website or something, you know, they can get to more uh, readily than your site that's down because of a DDoS attack. So ne negative financial impact, uh, lost productivity, uh, customer frustration, all uh, reasons, um, you know, to get a good DDoS uh, protection service. Uh, and, you know, just note, um, we drop all of these uh, attacks at the edge of our network, where your traditional firewalls um, 
you know, once that traffic hits your firewall, it can overwhelm your firewall. So dropping it uh, before it even gets to you is uh, is very huge. Uh, that's that's exactly what you want to do is drop these threats before they uh, actually get to your network. Um, many different types of attackers, uh, organized crime, uh, you know, political is a big one right now. Um, and, you know, some of the ways that this happens, uh, botnets, so many different uh, origins for that uh, traffic. And just think about, you know, in the time of uh, the pandemic right now, everybody's VPN into the uh, internet from home, a lot of people working from home. Um, so, you know, everybody's VPNing over your internet uh, access. If that internet access goes down for a day, uh, all of a sudden you're giving uh, all your employees the day off. Um, you know, so huge uh, financial impact. Next slide. Um, probing for business risk. Um, so how do we deal with these attacks? Um, how can I monitor these threats um, in real time and before they reach my network? How can I ensure my network bandwidth is not consumed by malicious traffic? So these are all good questions that you may be asking. Um, some common use cases, uh, data centers, uh, any company with an online presence. You know, if you, if you or your customers have uh, web-based uh, servers, uh, public-facing servers, uh, DDoS is uh, a threat to you and the availability of those services. Um, how does Comcast DDoS mitigation work? Um, well, here's a picture. Um, so over here on the left, we have a bunch of botnets that are uh, generating malicious traffic. Um, and over here on the right is a business customer. So what happens is we detect that volumetric uh, rise in traffic right at our edge router, and we will immediately drop that traffic. Um, we will also rate limit that interface um, so that it can't be uh, flooded uh, more than the rate limit that we imposed. Um, so we will drop 80% of this traffic um, before it even heads down the line. And what, what we cannot drop, we will, so, so we detect, and then we drop, and then uh, any traffic that we cannot drop, we divert to the closest scrubbing center. And we have scrubbing centers uh, throughout the United States. So we'll divert that traffic to the nearest scrubbing center, um, and we'll examine that traffic and uh, scrub off any malicious traffic. And then through a secure tunnel, we deliver the uh, good traffic to the business. So within five minutes of an attack starting, um, you can have the traffic dropped and diverted and continue on um, with your daily business with clean traffic. So detect, drop, divert, and deliver. So the four Gs. Uh, and again, uh, just some more information on how this service works. Uh, this is uh, kind of what I was just talking about. We detect, drop, and rate limit, divert to traffic, and then clean traffic is delivered. And that's it for uh, direct cloud, or um, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, DDoS mm -hmm. mitigation. I hope that was informative. Uh, now we'll switch gears and jump into uh, Comcast 
direct cloud. Um, this is the ability to directly connect to cloud providers. Um, interesting note here, by the end of 2021, um, most enterprises will put a mechanism in place to um, move to the cloud. Uh, and this is twice as fast as before the pandemic. So the pandemic has caused people to move to the cloud at double the speed that they were before the pandemic. Um, spending on cloud services will surpass one trillion by 2024. Uh, Comcast Business can connect you over our private fiber network, uh, layer two, uh, directly to cloud providers, so private, uh, secure, uh, you know, with uh, reliable performance levels every day. Uh, businesses are transforming. Uh, growing use of bandwidth, uh, voice over IP, video, um, you know, everybody wants to get to their data anytime from anywhere privately and reliably. So more and more business are going to the cloud. Um, data and network security is paramount right now. Uh, like we said, you know, just talking about DDoS and all the threats out there. Uh, making your connection to the cloud over a private data network is, is a great thing to do. More businesses are going to the cloud. Uh, interesting to note to uh, cloud providers actually uh, charge less when you connect directly to them uh, for data transfer rates. So um, if you check with your uh, AWS or Microsoft Azure, their data transfer rates uh, on direct connect are actually about two cents uh, per uh, gigabyte versus uh, I believe it's nine, around eight or nine cents uh, per gigabyte transfer rates uh, on VPN uh, connections, which uh, most people, a lot of people connect to cloud or VPN. Um, why? Um, so growth, uh, increased compliance. Um, you know, a lot of people need uh, HIPAA compliance uh, or any, you know, any other compliance. So connecting directly over uh, a private infrastructure can help you with uh, compliance and secure, uh, protect your data, uh, maintain focus because connection is always there. Uh, and lo you know, you can lower your operating costs uh, this way, paying less for your port charges and data transfer. Um, you know, and increase productivity. Uh, the great thing about this service is that you will get uh, increased performance uh, and you get the same performance day in and day out because you're connecting directly. Got to watch my time. I got about five minutes. Um, so what is it? Um, reliable, fast Ethernet. Um, we connect to the cloud um, over Ethernet private line is our typical connection. So um, you have your private uh, network. So, you know, you can go over the public internet and connect to the cloud. Um, you know, and you have the daily um, traffic on the internet. You don't really know what's my latency going to be day in and day out. It could be different. It could be, you know, uh, 20 milliseconds today. It could be uh, 50 milliseconds tomorrow. It could be, you know, 70 milliseconds uh, a week from now. Uh, with direct cloud, um, we connect you over our private fiber, point to point, uh, Ethernet private line. All of your sites can um, get to that connection. So all of your locations would be able to get to this. And you have that consistent day in and day out performance. Uh, again, private, uh, 
compliant and with great performance. Uh, again, how do you get to the cloud? You may be using the internet or going over the top right now. Uh, very inconsistent performance. Uh, with Comcast Direct Cloud, get a private connection, better performance, more secure. And of course, we offer a uh, service level agreement uh, of 99.99% availability. Okay. Uh, again, more uh, information on why um, it's good to connect directly to cloud providers. Um, cost, um, you know, Direct Connect is uh, uh, very uh, you know, cost effective uh, and it's scalable. Uh, you can start as low as uh, 10 meg and grow your connection the whole way up to 10 gig. Uh, performance, again, consistent day in, day out, every day. Uh, it's same latency every day, same you know, performance metrics day in and day out. So you can actually uh, know how long it's going to take you to and the users to get their job done. Uh, also, we have redundancy and, and availability. If you're doing Microsoft Azure, uh, they require Express Route, which is dual paths, um, and we can always put in dual paths to more than one site anytime needed, even with Amazon, uh, that's available. Uh, and security. Your traffic is no longer going over the internet, so it's much more secure. Um, you know, just challenges, um, you know, managing application performance, uh, dealing with throughput and latency issues, uh, and as we mentioned, security. Uh, and, you, yeah, and connect to multiple data centers or cloud platforms. Uh, we have customers who connect to uh, Amazon Web Service as well as uh, Microsoft Azure. So connect to as many cloud providers of our private network uh, as you would like. Ooh, and I'm getting close on time. Um, so just a little bit about AWS. Um, you know, these are some of the applications everybody uh, accesses, um, elastic compute, uh, storage, and virtual uh, private cloud services. AWS uh, is the largest uh, cloud provider. They actually host a lot of uh, Microsoft Azure's uh, platform. Uh, here's Azure um, Software as a Service, Office 365, uh, Platform as a Service, Infrastructure as a Service, uh, all of it available through Microsoft Azure. Uh, broad set of tools, pay as you go. Um, so again, any further questions you have uh, will be in the uh, lounge. I hope it was good for everyone. I thank you for attending uh, TechX, and we'll talk to you more uh, in the lounge. Thank you.